It's the worst day of the week. It's website <laughs> well, Wednesday. There's a I long day uh, for me. Dishes, <laughs> radio, right? I felt well, I was in a 1950s romantic comedy. So was, right? For a while there. Yeah. yeah. We need to make another video where we all dance. I want the third right answer. Yeah. The third right answer. You the can't third. afford the third right answer. Probably not. Or the third Reich answer. No, no we're not for everybody. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> just saying. On the one hand, I will say, like, just old plain Helvetica on a black background yeah. is just great for those kind of videos. It looks yeah. fantastic. On the flip side, I would have changed. Uh, there's, there's a section there that says, don't write it that way just because everyone else does. And then the next slide says, um, make it shorter. Those were not meant to be like a two parter. And I should probably go ahead, go back in, in the archives and find that old thing and cut it around so that, um, you know, it, it, they're not in that order because it makes it sound like, you know, write it shorter, but it's actually make it all shorter. Everything should be made shorter. All right. It's website Wednesday, which means you guys or someone in the chat, uh, doesn't matter to me, is going to throw me something. And then we're going to look at it. And I thought that I was thinking this morning, boy, we've done a lot of different things. We've done car washes, yeah. funeral homes, lawyers. We did an yeah. email that uh, a company, um, yeah. marketing company sent out. Uh, we Last week we did Etsy mm -hmm. uh, product description on Etsy for like flowers from weddings and funerals that are then put into resin and, and framed. Yeah. And I know there's something else that we've done. My niece is on the way. Oh, and marketing. SAT prep. Over, I think we've done marketing companies. There. Somebody's excited here. How about educational prep, like SATs and ACTs and stuff like that? Mm, I no? mean, you know, I don't have a choice in what you guys send me to. Well, what do you think, John? What do you want? You want something else like MRI centers? <laughs> I've already been to enough MRI centers to last my lifetime. <laughs> Lately. Um, it's bookstores funny. that'd be it's interesting funny, though that you should mention that because you know that's what our friend ed winslow works in is like with uh, uh radiology centers and yeah. radiology um, i like radiology and urgent care and that kind of stuff i've read a lot of x-rays and mris in my lifetime so it'd be so interesting to see if they have convenience and all the other things that go along with um coaxing people to use your center versus Joe Schmo's center across town. Hey, this one says it's world-class orthopedic surgery. So something right. world-class should look. It should look pretty class, good. Right? It yeah. should look amazing. <laughs> yeah. We should have you look at one of Ed sometimes because Ed gets great results. Yeah. But. Welcome to the what? It's the stone clinic. Yeah. Never is it just, is it just for kidney stones or gallstones or what? No, yeah, any kind of stones. Are they specialized? Welcome to the Stone Clinic. So they're orthopedics, I think, right? Oh, their name is Stone. World-class biologic and robotic surgery, regenerative okay. injection therapy, and elite sports medicine. Oh, okay. So it's not it's not just re removing calculi. Stones. Right. Okay, good. Well, I can Stone like fit. It. Oh, man. This is actually yeah. kind of interesting. This is pretty good. And, yeah. Uh, I keep hoping every week we're going to come across something that's like an example of well done instead of having to take things apart, right? Well done, good and faithful servant. Well so, done. <laughs> welcome. So, there is a problem with the, the hero image. And that's that it doesn't actually show this guy's like knees and stuff. Like, yeah, well, you want to see like aesthetic that. or had robotic surgery or whatever then like it should show that. But all it does is show two people looking down at something. But unless there's something going on in this knee, we don't <laughs> know. It's not a great opening image. Well, yeah. let's so you think a cast, a cast or something would be better? Yeah. I, I or don't know what, sling, I don't know what we're supposed to look at. Wait a minute. Is that first surgery? Surgery? I was on a hike in Hawaii, just <laughs> twisted my knee and, you know, the knee swelled up. I'd gone and seen an uh, orthopedic surgeon that wanted to do an arthroscopic uh, but he said I could go ahead and ski, just stay on blue runs, take it easy, and uh, ski till it hurt. And I hurt it pretty bad on a powder day, so I went and had the arthroscopic mm -hmm. procedure. After that surgery, it still hurt a lot going to a Walmart and, and going up and down the aisles. The knee was still in considerable pain. And I was Walmart will do it to you every time. You know, oh man, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to Walmart again. <laughs> I just don't feel like I should be limited at this point in my life. It's my body. It's my knee. I want to get the best 
answer for myself. So I went to my primary care doc and said, I think I need a second opinion. This is not going well. My primary care doc had heard about Dr. Stone here up, the, up in the city. And so I went to him for a consultation and, and I was really happy as I walked into the office to see all these pictures of the ski teams on, on the wall. I was probably a good candidate for a total knee replacement, which, you know, at 64, I was not ready to hear. Um, no, I kill it. It hurt me quite a bit. And I really wanted to be able to ski everything on the mountain again. That was very important to me to be able to get back to that. And so he talks about, look, the rest of your knee is good. The, the ligaments were all good. Even the, the cartilage on the bones, which I was where it can be a problem that they can wear down. But my knee injury was so recent, I hadn't even worn that down. He's like, well, we can do a transplant and you're going to be able to ski everything. You're going to be even able to run again, which I had not anticipated. We went ahead and did that surgery. And I'm now six months into it. And I don't even think about the knee. I'm most of my day to day activities. I can walk, we can hike. He's a great example of if there's still reasonably good joint space, why not put the missing cartilage back in no matter what the age of the patient, solve the problem, replace the missing tissue, and hopefully save the patient from ever having to have an artificial joint. Yeah, I'm, my wife is extremely active. And uh, I found myself a lot of times saying, well, why don't you go with your, your girlfriend? I can't, I can't do that. I just felt like I'm the drag. I'm the old guy that can't do it and can't keep up with my wife, who's the same age as me, <laughs> and I should be able to go. And now I'm like, I can go. <laughs> you, know? you go. You go, girl. <laughs> Ski Walmart. That's right. Oh, we can try I like the video. Yeah, I like the video, too. Oh, it's a commercial for that particular product. Product, Bionic. I got it, Bionic, yeah. So okay. it's a million dollar man. But that it's worked. Uh, I could only find really two points around that, and one of them is sort of squishy. One of them is if you're going to go so close in when, when the doctor comes on, right? And we, yeah. we talked about this with the lawyers uh, in the in Southern California from a few weeks ago, where like they literally never looked at the camera, they were looking at this mm -hmm. at the interviewer, and it is kind of an interview technique, and it's quote unquote professional. But they're selling to individuals, yeah. And so the the doctor was almost direct to camera, looking into the camera. So clearly, the interviewer was like right next to the camera, right? Yeah, and that's why right. he was off by like fifteen degrees or so. But it was so close. But I mean, that's a very, that's a pretty small point, and also the doctor. Does seem kind of you know he seems warm, yep. seems approachable. Yep. They did yeah. really well on that, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, a lot of the stuff that like we reiterate over and over was present in this. Now, granted, um, I don't know how long they had to talk to that guy to get the cuts that they needed, so that it's it looked like it was well scripted and well put together. They probably had him talking for an hour. And they pulled out easily. You know, Yep. 90 seconds of stuff, which is fine, right? That's how, that's how it works. But uh, so let's talk about a few of the things that work. Ne uh, negative present, positive future. They're very mm -hmm. big on that, right? Mm -hmm. They're very big on um, um, uh, what's that saying, right? We, uh, well, what, one, of the, one of the questions that we take people through uh, for creating their messaging is, um, why are you the why, why why aren't they already in the positive future? And it's never their mm -hmm. fault. Mm -hmm. No matter what the reason is, it's never their fault, mm -hmm. right? So I mean, I work in, in mostly in tech. So for instance, in tech, it's like basically, um, you you couldn't have solved this problem before in a way that made mm -hmm. sense because either it didn't exist or it was never cost effective until now, or no one had taken the approach that we took in order to like make it so well suited to you or something like that. It's never their fault. Right. Mm -hmm. And in this guy's case, it was not like his fault. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the version that they did of that is most of everything in your knee is already fine. Right. So we just need to do like a little thing, a relatively small thing, as opposed to a total knee replacement. Right. Right. And then uh, right off the bat, and this is sort of the brilliance of it is we've talked about how, there's, you know, just sort of everybody. And then there's the people who pick a niche. And then there's the halo niche. Right. And this guy's positioned his clinic as the halo niche. Like this is the guy you go to. If you're lucky, you go to him first. But if you're not, you go to him after another competitor has failed you in some way. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's great. Also mm -hmm. justifies higher prices. Mm -hmm. Or offer, offered you a uh, an 
unpalatable solution. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, as far as the website goes, I would have had, um, like I said, I do not like this image. Yeah. Basically because it just has two people looking down at some guy's hairy knee, which is fine, but, you know, does not actually, like, show a positive future. Maybe they're smiling because he's looked at it and says, your knee is, like, pretty much effed up, but I think I can help you save some functionality. <laughs> just or maybe you said your knee is great now after we fix it. And also the video is so good. Yeah. So good that yeah. to not have a thumbnail of it to I, encourage yeah, I, people I, to click into it is a crime. That is true. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yes. Mm -hmm. I agree. I actually don't think they did that many that many uh, takes with the doctor to get that out of him. Well, you oh, not out of the doctor, but out of the, the patient. Oh, out of the patient. Yeah, out of the patient. Yeah. He basically like told his story. And he probably told it with a lot of details yeah. that weren't relevant and the backstory and tone and stuff that they needed to like have him repeat or cut out or whatever. Probably, yeah, probably. Now, what's the purpose of a homepage, right? It basically has two purposes. Uh, purpose B is that you've been there before or you, or, or you kind of know what you're doing. And so yeah. it directs you to the place you should go. Like this stuff is great. I'm not diagnosed. I am diagnosed. I'm interested in surgery. I'm interested in a program for, re you know, rehab mm -hmm. or physio. It's not rehab. It's physio. Where do I fit in? Right. And that, and of course, that just takes you to a new place, right? Yeah. That would apply to you. And then the other part, uh, the job of a home site is to let you know that you're in the right place at the right time. So if you click, if you click one of those, is it a quiz funnel or is it a... Um... So I am not diagnosed yet. And then it starts breaking down, like, what's your problem, funnel. right? What's your thing? No. Yeah, it is a quiz. It's, it's a, a quiz, quiz funnel. funnel. And yeah, so that's even mind. so that's even more. Uh, wow, that's pretty sophisticated, in my opinion. Sophisticated, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then there you go, right? And, and then there's a video down. about it and the whole work and what they do. This is yeah. great. Like they do a good job of sort of you know turning back to the doctor once yeah. the once the initial stuff is done. Yeah, and this is what yeah. this means. Oh, and they right. get a little uh, video. I mean, he, this website is just very, very well done. There's not much that I would change on this one, which is such no. a strange, like, that's kind of great. We're so used to bad <laughs> sites. <laughs> We're so used to, like, major, yeah, uh, um, on the, the TV show MASH, right? I, I remember watching it when I was a kid and sort or of like, triage. Like, yeah, well, not they used to call it meatball surgery. Meatball Basically, it's just like get in there and do, like, enough to get them to the next hospital. And, mm -hmm. and they'll still be alive when they get there. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what we end up doing is meatball surgery, <laughs> a lot of this stuff. Just like, just make it good enough so that it no longer is terrible. The only thing I think I would have done differently at the top of this, it's got two buttons, one for book a consult. Yeah. And yeah. then one for and the to telephone call, to call. And typically you're not going to just... Unless he's got, unless he's got a scheduling calendar, I would do one well, or no, the what other. What he's got is underneath here is if you book a consult if you already live in the Bay Area. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. It could probably be a little darker, and then it's it's phones for everybody else. Okay, I got it. Which is fine, you know. Not everybody, yeah. not everybody serves everybody. I mean, he does probably have a national practice in a sense, but yeah. from one location in the Bay yeah. Area. Yeah, I'd, fly, I'd fly up to San Francisco for a consult with this guy based on the website alone. Yeah, sure. Right. And he's got a book. Book is good. Play All forever. The, play forever. Okay. Positive future, basically. Right. Is that not appealing or what? Yeah. <laughs> he's got his TED talk. He's got like, you know, oh. articles about the like, man. Like, topics. This is, is this really, really well done. The That's color strong. scheme, by the way, is uh, it's um, sort of IBM mm -hmm. blue. Yeah. Soothing, trustworthy, yeah. trustworthy. No one ever got fired for buying IBM, right? The ultimate. Safety. Well, no, they did. Right. They did, but not for the first several decades. Not, yeah, right. you had decades and decades of safety there. Yeah. Yes, it was yeah. a safe choice. Yeah. So safe color is blue. So. For many. I would have made this bigger. There's no reason for. I mean, I'd grant yeah. it more words, but it should be the same size as this, and this is a perfect yes. size. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is perfect size. My eyes shouldn't feel like they're climbing up a hill. To get to the card from here, but they do. Right. But aside from that, it is pretty awesome. Yeah, this is very well done. I mean, does it say which company did it? Let's see. Okay. Go YouTube, YouTube, no. Instagram, and Facebook. Okay. 
And they go, yeah, and he's got YouTube videos. All of his videos tend to be YouTube videos, it looks like. Yeah. They're up and here on the, on the header, and they're also at the bottom. What's his What's his domain name? Oh, wait a minute. It's He's on Instagram and Facebook, too. Yeah. Oh, it is Stone Clinic. That's great. Stone sure. Clinic. Memorable. Very. Yeah, somebody, he's done some really good stuff. Or, or given direction or hired the right people. Yeah, this is well done. Mm -hmm. I don't, like I said, there's not a lot to recommend. And, and here. well done. Zero, is, well done is definitely rare. Definitely highlight the, the video. Extremely. Change the sizing here. Very That's little about it. well done these days. For mine, rare. It is very rare for us to yeah. come up with something. I'm just checking out his Instagram. Even though it's not social. Yeah. What do you have for choices at the bottom? 456 posts, 827 followers. I'm really surprised. Our program orthopedic surgery, robotic joint center, hmm. meniscus transplant center, stone food physical therapy. Oh, interesting. So here's another doctor who 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 has everything down from the surgery to the uh, the physical therapy. Doctor Stone is a skier himself. That makes a big difference. Yeah. Mm. On yeah. Instagram, you can see him on the slopes. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Book of faces. I'm just really curious now what his Facebook thing is. He's got 29 reviews, 4.9. He's water skiing. He's pretty good. So he's got he's got 2,800 people. Is that him pole vaulting over there? <laughs> pole vaulting. Somebody's yeah. pole vaulting. No, that's not him. So yeah, overall, like, well done, Dr. Stone. Yeah. And Dr. Dr. Stone's Stone. marketer. Everybody must get stoned. Yeah. But the video is so good, it's really a crime yeah. to, like, yeah. not highlight it. Well, he features his book on the Facebook page in the banner, which is really interesting. And that's mm -hmm. very appealing. Also in multiple shades of blue and white and yeah. Whatever gray. Yeah, and it, the, the book cover even, you know, maintains the same color scheme. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Books, yeah. books, good sales tool. Yep. Dr. Stone, yeah. you are our winner for this month. Dr. <laughs> Stone for the year so far. Hey, so what else you doing? What's You're Dr. a diamond in a TED talk. What about thing? Salem Clinic? Salem, that sounds good. Yeah. Is that Massachusetts? Or New Hampshire or Salem where? Oh, this is not good. Oregon? Salem, North Carolina? Already. Be long. COVID testing is available. Hmm. Well, let's see. Oregon. Yeah. That's West Oregon. Oregon. So they're both West Coast. This, this one does need work. A lot. Yeah, like what am Did I? He buying? cut off his head, the doctor. The doctor has yeah, we head. cut off his head. We, we we covered his face with a warning. With a warning, okay. Yeah. Please don't come here. Don't come to the Salem Clinic. It's interesting they got a dot org too, so I guess they couldn't get the dot com. I guess and, I'm like, what is this? And like, why is it that? Why would you want to belong to a clinic for the rest of your belong life? for life? Yeah, and why have uh, a, a big thing of? A big thing of pill jars with COVID nineteen all over. Why is co Why is COVID the main thing? Are they just a COVID clinic? There. I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. Something's really there wrong. Lots of awards and stuff, but like it doesn't actually like tell me what's happening here. Like, yeah. do they specialize in COVID. Specialize in COVID. <laughs> you would you would think by looking that this would be specialized. It looks like it. Schedule of COVID. Whoa. Founded in 1925. Oh, this explains a lot. They're still yeah. back in 1925. Still, if if yeah. you were to bring the internet to a doctor in 1925, this is the website you would yeah. read. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we've never gone through the strategy template. Yeah, uh, yeah. In in these videos, but there's a section of the of um of the strategy template that we walk through mm. that talks about um you know sources of advantage. And mm -hmm. one of them is, uh, there's two sections that would be relevant to this. One mm -hmm. is that there's three different types of inertia, mm -hmm. right? Um, and um, I won't bother to say what like their, their snazzy names are. I'll just say what they actually are. One is that you have a corporate culture where you, this is the way things are done around here and you can't break out of it, mm -hmm. right? Right. 
So uh, that's not a source of advantage. Right. Basically, if if you're a, if you're a competitor, if your opponent has that kind of culture, then you have an an, an opportunity to disrupt. Right. There's inertia. Second inertia is where you might be uh, um, there. How about I put this? A company might be willing to innovate, but its customers are not. Right. Okay. Uh, you find this in banking a lot, for instance, and in insurance. Right. right? right. Where people just like to have insurance in a box in their head, and so they don't like they don't like new types of insurance companies. They don't like banks. Don't make it. Uh, what what did what innovation <laughs> happened on the consumer side of insurance other than websites in the last twenty five years? Right, it's not much. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, right. app banking in app banking. Is yeah. So I mean, to compete it's against more innovation play, than you think they are nonprofit, it yeah. might be because of org, right? But yeah. basically, this is an organization that from the just from the front page of their website in this one really looks like a company that's sort of captured by its own culture now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Strong culture is great. Right. But captured by your culture is not if it stops you from improving or innovating. Now, I don't know anything about their trap. So maybe, I, all I have to go on is their their website. But so. yeah. and then yeah. um, one of the other things you look at is um, does a competitor have to. Um, do they have a legacy obligation that you don't have? So basically they have to support customers who are on old systems. Do you know, they have to uh, operate in a certain way, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of like, it's, it's not exactly inertia by proxy, but basically they're stuck spending money and time and resources supporting something mm -hmm. that you, if you're new, you can skip over altogether. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, you know, there's all kinds of stuff like that. Like, you know, how many, how many versions of Windows are actively supported at one time? You know, hmm. probably go back eight or nine years. So get mm -hmm. security updates. Whereas if you were starting brand new, like you wouldn't have to do any of that. Not for a while, because all your customers would be new to you and you're new to them. Kind right. of stuff. Right. So it's possible here, just judging by, I mean, I'm sure they had a lot of input into what their website looked like, or someone did. Yeah, and I mean, there's nothing here that is talking to the reader. I I will tell you, their Facebook yeah. page is horrendous. I, I, only in so far as they posted once last time, April eighth, then March 29th. and I mean, so in other words, they post once or twice a month, and then like then mm -hmm. prior to this is just the recency, March fourth, and then you jump all the way to September thirtieth, twenty twenty one. Wow. So this page is dead, in my opinion. Yeah. And there's nothing and like here. This testimonials really page is just do. a wall of text. Yeah. Right. In tiny, right. tiny font. Yeah. And nothing, and when you look at the main page, nothing immediately like, tells yeah, you why am I here? Except COVID-19. It's all for COVID. That's what the funny thing is they've got doing. some nice pictures. They've got nice pictures of staff, I mean, on the yeah. Facebook page, but they don't post much of anything. Yeah. Like they bring some guy, you know, some fellow in they're here. They're big though. They've got multiple locations in yeah. Salem, Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. But they're not very social and not, and they're not, see, one they're of the things. Always, either. I think what you mean is they're not approachable. Yeah. One of the things that we talk about a lot is by putting out a lot of educational content. Mm -hmm. So people feel smarter just being associated with you. Right. Yeah. And the ratings don't look all that uh, super seller that you were just looking at. Yeah, the ratings are... Uh, You're on like three, two and a half. Yeah, it's not uh, what I would... It's not ideal. Let's go it's, not, it's not pretty. pretty. pretty, pretty. They get, and they get awards for their service. So there's, I just think it's their... It, yeah. You're right about yeah. They're not very approachable. Yeah. And they just send out announcements periodically about we're doing this clinic, we're doing this, we're doing HPV, we're doing, we're the best, we're the best. Look at us, we're the best. Do you have COVID? <laughs> There's COVID everywhere on that Facebook page. <laughs> no, it seems like it's their only concern. Yeah, I, I just, the thing about getting the guy's head cut off just really bothers me to no end. It's like, we're the decapitation COVID clinic. Now, well, like, look at this one. Would be Very different deal, right? Um, yeah. I think it would be but, better if it was cut off than have a big warning sign over his face. <laughs> yeah, I like this is so different. Yeah, this is this is right to the point. Of course, it's a typo here. They should yeah. have had a comma and like yeah. you know, whatever. But 
it's 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 exactly yeah. what someone might be looking for. Yeah, yep. like the answer is right up front, and it says exactly who they are and what they do, or at least what and, they do and, and they where do. they are. Yeah, sure. See, it's always this thing about you know intention searches versus social media. Yeah. I mean, in social media, it, you really need to be strict. You know, pretty much social, establish conversations. Mm -hmm. It can't be a one-way street. Right. Right. And here, COVID makes sense. And it's not we're yeah. understaffed because of COVID. It's like, hey, you need a you need a, a shot or a test. Yeah. Come on I'm down. Yep. Come on down. Come but on so down. To it's shots simpler, it's smaller, it's leaner, and yet yeah. it's so much. It does less, but does better. Yes. The Salem Clinic one. What is this one called? I want to see what the uh, mobile. This is GuadalupeClinic.org. Guadalupe. In Wichita, Kansas. It's, oh, Guadalupe. It's, okay. It's from the Catholic Diocese of Wichita. So oh, there you go. Probably a nonprofit, right? They know their audience. No, no one. But still. And granted, this guy isn't like happy, but no one no. would be happy with something getting shoved into their ear anyway. So that's <laughs> totally fine. Yeah. Hey, whoa. What are you shoving in? He does have this, like, I, you know, I, I'm kind of glad I'm getting treated for this. I think. I think like, I'm glad I'm treated. And I hope it's about to get better. I'm not totally sure, but I, I think I'm going to be. I'm so, at least tolerant. So Stone Clinic, amazing. Just a couple amazing. small points, but amazing, super, super job. Yes. Uh, SalemClinic.org, I don't understand what you're doing. It's, it's, I have no clue. Yeah. See, so so when you look at the mobile, it's like very, any, right down the middle, excellent. Mobile yeah. is very interesting because it just features the the logo. As you're scrolling through, you don't actually get that image or any sort of an image till far later. And the majority of people are going to be looking at this on mobile. Right. Yeah, so. generally. It's even, it's funny, graphic, it's, by the way, it I is can't. different. It is leaner and different on mobile than it is on the desktop version. What Curious. is Guadalupe or? Guadalupe. Yeah, Guadalupe. I'm looking yeah. at Guadalupe because the very first image that you see on Guadalupe is the logo. And, and yeah. but with the thing of, you know, no insurance, no worries. You don't get the fix the headline because it's built into the graphic. But yeah, yeah. yeah. other Actually, than fixing the headline and it's a small thing. And then you just get a few, you get a few of those images that you see down below but you're scrolling through them. So. Yeah. So I didn't really yeah. have anything to write or do today. Yeah. No, this yeah. one's good. No. That's a first. Yeah. Well, no, you, you, you could have done a lot with the same. So there was nothing to be done. <laughs> There's nothing to fix. I didn't have anything fixable. Fixable. No. It, was, it, was it so difficult that it couldn't be fixed with the Salem Clinic? Yeah. You, I mean, they didn't even have any text to like work with. You can't give like, a guy a head. Rewrite the COVID warning? <laughs> How are you going to give a guy a head? I, I just still think that the most disturbing thing about that one was the decapitation of the doctor, because as a doctor, that really bothers me. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but it's so, pretty I interesting, mean, though. That's, over over. Just over I mean, right. for me, this was the easiest website Wednesday ever. And, and so it makes it your favorite website Wednesday. And uh, actually, what makes it my favorite is how good Stone Clinic was. It's yeah. so great to see something like thought out. Yeah, that was very. Right? Well I think it's out. a great example to model too. If you had a clinic of some sort, just in yeah. terms of even layout and the simplicity, and you know, and just change the the header image, you know, the above the fold thing. Yeah, and yeah. highlight your video, and you're great. Yeah, I think highlighting the video is a great idea too, because that thing was just it. How did you even get there? You just it's a link, but that's all it is. It was a link. Oh uh, yeah. No, I think the thumbnail movie. of that would have been the best. The image. Also, the headline uh, or the lead-in. The head. This. This is not. It does not go into a lot about how they achieve their outcomes. Yeah. No. So it's a bit. It's sort of clickbaity. There. It's not really. And now, here's the thing. They'd be better off with a different headline anyway, like a different link. Text. Quick question: Would you have taken a thumbnail like uh, like in the rehab where the guy's going back and forth in the ski and made that an image to show that he's being rehabilitated as opposed to like a cast or something static? No, I would have taken the absolute happiest looking thing in that happiest okay. looking frame and I would have pasted it. Got it. Yeah. The main image is starting to grow on me. Like moss? 
No, I mean, the more the more I look at it, it's not the best image, but the more I look at it, the more it makes more, it makes more sense to me. The more I look at it. What about the, what about when they have the staff, like the entire staff on there? Is that disturbing or is that helpful? I don't see how. Yeah, so. To me, it's just a net neutral. I mean, okay. I don't know any of these people. Yeah. The fact that he has people working at the clinic, well, I wouldn't people work there besides somebody him. works there. It's not totally robotic. Yeah. No, there's going to be at least a nurse and a receptionist, and then yeah. more people like that. So yeah. uh, I've never really thought about it. I mean, I mean, I guess you're trying to say like there's a whole team to support you, but they yes. almost never say it that way. No. no, but when we do when we do local marketing strategies for doctors, a lot of times we'll want to have the entire team with their friendly faces looking at you, uh, straight at you, the viewer. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so I mean, I don't know what would I grab here from. So you have a comfort I level. I scrub really quickly and find something that's kind of great. Scrubs. I love that show, too. Maybe something like that. Back a little bit there. Was I kind of like the one where he's like sliding back and forth with the ski poles, but that's... Um, yeah, yeah, that was... looked very good. active to me. I was just... I found that very appealing as a skier yeah. myself. Yeah, yeah. That but, wasn't bad either. That, yeah, I mean, this is, this is probably yeah. the best one. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But get him active where he's like in mid stance or something like that. Well, you could just take three or four seconds of it, turn it into a GIF and just have it. Loop yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. And you could have that thing just rotating there instead of a static. And image. then I would have also taken the um, from a different part of the video, but near this is where he talks about how he wants to keep up with his wife and they're the same age. <laughs> and they're the same age. That's what I would have had as a quote. That's the best. I'm nailing That's the best. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, the video is so well done. Like hiding it like this is. Yeah, so I would good. feature the video. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, all right, that's our half an hour. Can't cool. believe I didn't get to write anything this time. It's so Sorry. be it. Save that's your right. writing for next week. Yeah, writing for next week. All right, so that's it. Tomorrow's Thursday. Thursday. What are we doing mm -hmm. Thursday? Something. 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 All right. Good. <laughs>